Hi, my name is Yao Wan. I'm going to talk about ICM 3D. This tutorial we include two videos. This is the first video. If you want to see more details about ICM 3D, you can go to help page or check more features at the gallery page. ICM 3D accepts basically three kinds of data sources from NCBI with parameter MNDB ID from RCSB, could be PDB ID or MNTF ID. From OPM, it's OPM ID or transmembrane proteins. It also accepts uh, files like PDB files, SDF files, Mol2 files. Note that different data sources may have different starting residue numbers. MCBI data usually start with the residue number ID1. When you open a PDB structure, it shows, it first shows a 3D structure. If you want to see the sequence, you can go to Windows, open view sequences and annotations. There are all kinds of annotations like domains, binding sites, SNPs, and click details to see the sequence. And for MNDB data, you can view interactions. Here, each node represents a chain and the edges represent the interaction between the chains. You can also click define sets to see all the predefined sets like the chains or your custom defined sets. By default, all items are selected. Here the toggle shows all items and all the actions such as style, color will apply on all items. You may want to select a subset of the structure to select on 3D. You can go to select menu, select on 3D and hold the Alt key and click on the structure by default it shows you select the residue. You can also click the sets or to the interaction nodes. You can also drag on the sequence to select a part of the sequence. Here I select the end terminal of the chain A. After you select a subset, the toggle shows selection. This toggle is important because all the following actions such as style, color, only apply on the selection. After your selection, you can view only your selection by click the view only selection. And um, If you want to see the full structure, you can click the toggle to see the full structure. This menu has lots of options. The most important one is actually hydrogen bonds interactions. You can click and do lots of interaction analysis. It has all sorts of label, label scale, and fork, etc. Now, after view the selection, you can change the style or color for your selection. Here, um, I choose the schematic style for proteins. You can also choose um, other styles. If it has nucleotide, you can choose nucleotide. If it has chemical, you can choose chemical. All the styles only apply on the selection. And here you can choose your own, you can choose your own color. Like in this case, I show the sheet in green and the color will also be reflected in the sequence. This menu also shows you can color by charge, by hydrophobicity, by solvent accessibility. After you create your custom view, uh, you can go to Windows, your node, to add your node for this view. 
for example, in terminal of the chain A. And this node will appear in your window. And uh, later on, I will also show you that this node will appear in your gallery. To save your work, you can create your own gallery. Uh, you can go to File, Save File, IC in 3D PNG image. This will save two files. One is a PNG image, the other one is the HTML file which contains the share link URL. If you have many views, you can concatenate the source code of the HTML files. Each file has about five lines, so you can use the like text editor to combine them. And here shows one example of the gallery. Your node shows up as a summary of your image. If you click the image, it will show the, your custom view. The PNG image can also be loaded into ICN 3D because it also has the share link information. If you want to share your, your work with colleagues, you can go to File, Share Link, and copy the short URL. This can be expanded to the full URL, which contains all the commands for your custom view. Once you have a share link, you can actually check each step by go to browser, put the share link URL, and click replay each step. And you click the button one by one, and it shows the menu and commands for each step. So this will be a good learning experience. That's it, thank you.